Hey man, it's Aaron from the Underground Railroad, and you guys are tuning in to a, another wonderful show from the Four Eyed Radio Network. To listen to more awesome episodes from your favorite people at the Fern Network, you can turn into foureyedradio.com. Is it? Oh. Hey Patrick. Hey. So, uh, how, when you when you go shopping online, where where do you usually go to shop online? Uh. Like if you have to do stuff for birthday parties or uh, holidays are coming up, you don't want to go to the store. Where do you where do you shop online? I don't know. Craigslist. You Craigslist. Go. You go to Craigslist. Well, you shouldn't go to Craigslist. You should go to Amazon.com. <laughs> right? Amazon.com. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, Amazon.com. But you don't. It's actually good. It is yeah. good. Yeah. But you don't go to Amazon.com. You, d- you, you don't. don't. No. What you need to do is you click on, you go to the Sasquatch.net, click on the Amazon banner, and then oh. do your shopping. You know why? Why? Because we get a little kickback then, and we can keep the lights on in the studio, and I won't be homeless. Oh, yeah. Well, so. wait a minute. So if we want you to be homeless. Well, yeah, but do you really want me to be homeless? Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, well, if you if you don't want Steve to be homeless, go to the net and click on the Amazon banner and shop like you normally do, and we'll get a little taste if you do. But apparently, if you want me to be homeless, then just shop at Craigslist. Yeah, or, I don't know, Walmart, maybe? Yeah, Walmart works, too. Yeah, because that's probably where you'd be living if you were homeless. <laughs> that's where I'll be living. Yeah. Oh, uh, so depressing. Okay. Well, that's that's all I got. All right, so Sasquatch.net, click on the Amazon banner. That's, that's all I got. Yes, do. <laughs> <laughs> Roar! I'm a dinosaur. Um, yeah, hi, yes, and welcome to an all-new episode of All White Tukey. Of course, I am your host, and alongside me with my co-host is none other than. Me, me, myself, and I. <laughs> all right, yeah, we're back with Pat. the whole new episode. Uh, last Otherwise. week's episode was was crazy. Mm. It wasn't really. The funny part is the episode wasn't really that crazy. It was the aftermath after the episode that was crazy. Yeah. Uh, good, good, clean fun. But anyways, we are an all white, all new, all white Tuki for you people. Of course, you can find us on our Facebook page. Go ahead and give us a like. We're trying to get to at least forty. We're at 36. 36? Yeah. 30. <gasps> no, we should get to 37. What's, it's We have a storm going on. Outside. What's 37? 37? Uh, uh, right. But to listen to the show, you can find us on 4 radiocom Spreaker, iTunes, Stitcher, Zoom, Marketplace, Blackberry Podcast, Blueberry Podcast, Mirror Guide, Double Twist, YouTube, Swell Radio, SoundCloud, and Player FM. And, and on Van Buren. Oh, are we on there now? Well, I do a live show on Van Buren every <laughs> Saturday night, so ladies and gentlemen. Uh, of course, so we're brought to you by Revenge Lovers Designs, illustrates and designs that feature personalities for samples and inquiries. Visit revengelover.com. Now, yeah, we're recording right now. Uh, Patrick and I, we record at uh, Patrick's Place. But yeah, it is a, it is a windy, we're getting a, we're getting a nice little monsoon right now. Yeah. It's like an old man in an angry bathtub out there. <sighs> old man in an angry bathtub is my favorite, yeah. my favorite uh, theme song from 1943. Yeah, 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 mine too. Um, but of course, uh, like every show, um, Patrick, what have you been up to, man? What have you been doing? Just working for the man. Working for the man. Your father spoke of legends. Your father spoke of men and working. Oh, for the man. For the man. Oh, hi, Denny. For about tree fitty. <laughs> I need about tree fitty. Um, so damn works. you, Larkin's monster. Damn you, Larkin's monster. I ain't giving you no yeah, three fifty. I gave him a dollar. She gave him a dollar. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, South Park. Um, but, of course, we're back with our great show and everything like that. So, um... Yeah, so your wife is actually having ladies' nights tonight. Yeah. Um, I told her uh, she should pick out a potential wife for me while she's out. 
mm-hmm. um, with her group of friends. So, mm-hmm. I mean, mm-hmm. uh, preferably not crazy. Mm-hmm. I mean, there's good crazy, and mm-hmm. then there's crazy crazy. Yeah. So, um, yeah. So that's going to be fun. So you've been here with the kid all day, huh? No, not all day. I worked this morning. Yeah, how was, how was that? It was haggard. You love your job, don't you? Yeah, it's a good job. It's just haggard sometimes. That happens. I know what you mean. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, that yeah. whole that whole living the dream and everything that. But Patrick and I were talking earlier, and we're trying to figure out um, what happened to a character we knew from middle school called uh, Bobbert. Bobbert. The Bobbert. The Bobbert. Um, he was in the loose. Uh, he was like, I think he's a species extinct. He might have been the last of his kind. Yeah, the last Bobbert. I think oh. they made a movie about it. The, the last Bobbert. I oh, I thought it was Bobbert. The last dinosaur. Yeah, it might have been that. Well, I don't know. I don't know if anybody remembers that but, old 80s yeah. cartoon show. But, um, yeah. yeah. The last Bobbert. So we're here, so we're going to hit you with some crazy, crazy news as usual. Of course, don't worry. You'll get your... I didn't realize this. It wasn't until after I listened, re-listened to the show to edit it and everything that, like, you were really excited. You're like, no, we can't have the show. You got to do your scan BC. Heck yeah, man! So, you almost just cut it off. And, and I wasn't sure if you if you actually enjoyed it or not. So it looks like you did. So I did find I did find some good ones good. Good. for this week. I, I that's what I do every week now. Every Monday, I um after the show, or well, technically Sunday, uh, after the show, I go through my Twitter and I find all the best uh, throughout the week. I check every day to find the best little scan BCs we'll talk all about right. on today's episode as well. Everybody knows that that's what you actually do at work. I wish that was my job at work. That'd be great. <laughs> oh, man, if I could just look at Canadian news all day, that'd be just fantastic. Yeah. But you did bring something up. It was a joke where I asked, like, oh, what do you want to talk about this week? And you were like, gypsies. And Patrick always talks, says something about gypsies one way or another, but he actually found a story. A scholarly article. Uh, Peer-reviewed about gypsies. So, Patrick, you read this. I did. I did not read this. Oh, there's some good some good takeaways. But but I will. Uh, but yeah, let's let's talk about this. So what's? <clears throat> so it was something to do with like the health related beliefs of gypsies. It's. A, I guess they. I don't know where was this. The UK or something. Uh, let's see. This comes from a website called. Um, well, I think they surveyed gypsies in. The, oh yeah, in England. Okay, so gypsies in so England. English gypsies. But they, they found out that. that Apparently, the majority of gypsies have like a fatalistic viewpoint about having health problems. Okay. Which they chalk it up to uh, the traveling way. So, like, you're just, if you're part of the traveling way. Yeah. Well, it says something here. Like, the participants was 27 problems. gypsies and. Uh, yeah, gypsies. Uh, with an experience uh, of yeah. ill health. So health, uh, yeah, health related behavior, health experiences in this context. So uh what did, what did yeah. you learn about them? What are some of the what are some of their health issues, I guess? I don't know. Gypsies are freaking weird is what I learned. They are well, gypsies okay, now I'm surprised and then there's still gypsies like around. Like yeah. it's not like something that just went away. No, 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 they're around. Like and how do you become a gypsy? Do you know? Do you know this stuff? Or okay, now is a gypsy just like a glorified hobo? No, there's like a whole. Uh, I don't. Know, I think you got to fill out some like mail-in forms and stuff. <laughs> so like so, gypsy headquarters, but the gypsy headquarters is always moving all the time. Oh, uh, so it's really so hard. It's, so it's, hard, carrier it's pigeons. hard to figure out where to mail it to. Do they just so. use carrier pigeons, or they don't believe in pigeons? They don't believe in pigeons. So actually, what is a gypsy? Actually, now that I think about it, I, I really I've heard the term, and you to me, I just would think the only only reference mind that I have of a gypsy is probably from the Disney film Hunchback of Notre Dame. <laughs> that's that's about it. Yeah. Uh, and to me, yeah, I'm I don't know. I think they're like originally were probably like displaced like social groups. Mm. But then, like now, they're just these freaks that want. I I think they're similar to, like carnies and there's like. Okay, tell. that's what I was curious about. Do you think they're because I was about to? You said carnies, which is probably a better poll than what I was thinking. Where I was about to say, like, are they just like not glorified hipsters? Well, yeah, well, hipsters like wish they could be gypsies. They do. You think? <clears throat> yeah. I don't even know what a hipster is actually. I just know they just try to funky up their mustaches and everything they wear is ironic. Yeah, I don't want, there needs to be like a public service, the public works division that goes around and collects all the hipsters and then like, you know, put it, throws them in the garbage trucks and 
crushes them up back there, and they just take them out to the landfill. So are you trying to are you trying to say concentration camp for hipsters? No, public works. Public works. Public works. It's that, be a public service. It's that, <laughs> Clean up the streets of the hipsters. Oh, okay. So it's like a like we gotta. It's like community service, man. Oh, okay, okay. See, see you know what? Funny. That actually, what we could do then, the people who are unemployed and looking for work, we can give them that job, and yeah. they can round up the round now, up the. Hipsters. Now Seattle would be booming in that job market then. Oh yeah. Yeah. So Starbucks would probably go out of business. No, I I don't know. I mean, I I drink a Starbucks. Well, okay, the weird true. part with Starbucks though is I don't drink their actual coffee. Well, that's tr- and that's true. The hipsters don't go to Starbucks because it's too mainstream. Yeah, it's too what meta? I guess they would say meta. I don't so, know. That's a thing. Yeah, there's so many. Meta. I don't know. Hipsters are weird. Like it sucks because you'll be wa- meta hipster. Because like, you'll be walking down the street, and you'll see like mustache. you'll see somebody wearing like an old school Nintendo shirt. Yeah, and like my the inner nerd in me is like, oh, that's so cool. Yeah, I love that game. The bleak. Huh, I'm wearing this to be ironic. I'm like, no, no, I'm wearing this to beat the crap out of you now. It's like, do you even know what ironic means? I, like, I what don't do think you, they do. How is that ironic? What's ironic about that? <sighs> They're hipsters. They don't need any rhyme or reason. They just need to be punched in the face. Yeah. So actually, this episode is brought to you by hipsters. Um, they need to be shot in the street, punched in the face with a tire iron. I like that. You know what we can do? Why don't we get midgets? Midgets? We'll get midgets with tire irons to take out hipsters. Just hit them in like the shin. Yeah, and then when they hit the ground, they just knock them out. And, and they're like, so thin, and frail, anyways. It would like take one hit, and their like exactly. legs would probably shatter. Because right off the bat, they'd be like, "Oh, look, it's a midget." <laughs> you remember that movie? Uh, oh crap! Uh, Unbreakable. Yeah, with oh the Samuel <laughs> Jackson. Yeah, <laughs> the glass man. <laughs> <laughs> so, so hipsters to uh, hipster to us are glass men. <laughs> glass men. He was just falling down. That was my favorite part when, when he, he fell down the stairs. Yes. Actually, funny part is it was a really good movie though. Yeah, it like, was pretty good. When he's falling down the stairs though, you're just like <laughs> he's he's breaking. <laughs> But yeah, now, okay, yeah. So, so Patrick and I definition of hipster is if you ever seen Unbreakable, <laughs> Samuel glass Jackson's man. character. That's to us oh, as a hipster, glass, man. a feeble man who would break at the drop of a pin. Yes. So, I think I like this. I think we need to do, we'll do a new <laughs> segment and we'll pick words of in the trends and we'll we'll be like we don't know what this means, but we'll just come up with our own definition for it. Absolutely. <clears throat> so hipster, pretty breakable people. Yeah. Um. But yeah. So back to back to gypsies. Um. So yeah, that's basically that's pretty sad that my only like incarnation of a gypsy is from the Disney film Hunchback of Notre Dame, which is by the way a horrible es- film. Esmeralda. Esmeralda. By the way, hot. I don't care if she's cartoon or not. Still, that's pretty hot gypsy. Quasimodo is way hotter. I think so. Yeah. Thank you, Mary. With his gargoyles. Was Cor- did Corky play him? Gargoyles. Oh, his gargoyles. Gargoyles and Quasimodo. That was so weird with the gargoyles. They didn't have. They didn't have any bottom halves. Oh my God. Yeah, it's because the bottom halves were with Quasimodo. <laughs> <laughs> and he, so he sits there and rings the bell and like, thank you, Mary. Yeah, yeah. Well, the girl, the girl's like, oh, quasi. Wow, quasi. Oh, oh sh- man, let me feel that mode. <laughs> Who's got the you're mode? Any, you're baby, anything man? but quasi. Mm, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, we just took a Disney. You know the sad part is we couldn't really take a Disney film to a dirty place because they're all dirty they, in general. They're already, they're already there. Yeah. Okay, actually, especially when the films were being re-released on Blu-ray, I think they were editing a bunch of that stuff out of him. Probably. So if you still own like Disney films, I think that were on either VHS or even stretching on oh, Laserdisc. Freaking sticky over here. Oh, man. you spilled your beer. That was like the weirdest thing ever. So Pat went to grab a beer and it just like, I think he, I flailed briefly. <clears throat> no, I'm. I highly disagree with you. I think Patrick doesn't realize he has uh, Jedi powers. Apparently. And he, instead of bringing the thing towards him, he push forced it off the table. But, yeah. <clears throat> but yeah. So, uh, so yeah, gypsies. Gypsies are weird. But uh, we will talk about um, <clears throat> thirty-seven. Uh, no, but yeah. So we. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, last week episode uh, we had a bunch of people on the show, which was cool. Um, Patrick's wife was on, and then one of her friends from the culinary school that they uh, attend. Psycho uh, McPsycho. Psycho, Jenny. Yeah. Um, Psycho McPsycho. That was, that was some fun times. We had some good laughs after. Uh, uh, well, I don't know if there was really good laughs. It's just there's a part of that evening where the whole, like, everything just kind of. 
turned at one point, and I was just mm. like, I literally like Patrick comes walking down the stairs. I'm like in the living room, going like, I don't know what to do right now, and he's yeah. like, Go out for a smoke. <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah. So other than all that, what else is going on in your life? Anything new besides work? How's the how's the chillins? They're good. They're good. The yeah. one stolen college hasn't come back yet. No. No. She, she contacted she's... you guys. Yeah, we went to visit her. I think last. Yeah, last Sunday. Yeah, last Sunday. We went up there. So. Just... So was that after church? Yeah. Or okay, so you guys actually went to church. Yeah. Because you guys were up late last Saturday. Mm-hmm. That's like the. It's when you get to our age, it comes to the part like, oh, it's ten. Yeah, it's time to go to bed. Yeah. It's, no, uh, you know the hangovers now are just brutal. Are they? I know you don't get them. Yeah, I know. and I hate you forever for that. Everybody does. And I've been feeding you poison all night. So. Sweet. You'll be dead soon. Yes. <laughs> Finally, all my dreams just came true. <laughs> Um, Do you believe in life after Steve? <laughs> when he's dead because <laughs> Patrick been secretly poisoning <laughs> him on the high. That's right. a little yeah. share for you people. Yeah, yeah, that's good. That's good. That's good. Um, but yeah, no, uh, yeah, you would be angry with me because I think I woke up probably at ten. Felt that fine. Felt yeah. great. Not only did yeah, I feel, I not, feel only did, not only did I feel great and rested, I made some bacon and eggs. I was and like, nice, haggard, oh man, haggard. had a nice cup of coffee. Went outside, had my With coffee a capital and smoke. Gerd. Oh, that was man. great. Then you know what I did afterwards? Edited the show that we just oh, recorded, cool. yeah. and then recorded a show by myself of Arcade Bros. And I was Sweet. like, yeah, I'm good. I'm good for the day. I'm good for the day. Awesome. And then I, <clears throat> I was only hagging for like a couple hours. No yeah, way. but still, like it's not really a fun. Like that's why I never get with people anymore. Where they're like, I'm gonna drink, and then the next, like, I understand, yeah. like, if you're partying, you're having a good time, and everything like that, and you want to drink and stuff. But people who do this all the time, yeah, and get that, and then it's like, because to me, you could lose like an entire Sunday. Oh yeah, like after yeah. that, like yeah. that was like a big yeah. reason with Fridays. It's like Fridays, I I drink on the socially awkward show. Yeah, we drink during the podcast like we're doing now, and yeah. then it's like Saturday. It's all like would be the worst if like I had that hangover problem because mm. and especially if I was doing like overtime against too because it's like I'm getting up early just to do four hours of work and you're just haggard. But oh, it's all like that. yeah, I used to be like haggard like every weekend. I'm just like I don't know why people would do that. I'm like I understand when you're young and you're dumb, you drink and you drink oh, yeah, and you yeah. drink because you don't know your limits, you don't know what's up. But then when you hit a certain age, my my theory has always been. From age, I would say probably 16, we'll say 16 people, kids start drinking, you know, getting the beer. You get really bad beer. You get crap beer because it's the only beer you can find. You drink and drink and drink because you don't need your limit. You think it's great and everything like that. Then you hit finally like the college age. Uh, you hit about your 21 first birthday. You're like, all right, great. Then you go to the bars. You're allowed to drink. You know, you don't have to worry about what – but you can actually start buying what you want now because you can afford only it. Only you don't buy what you want when you're that age. You buy like – Jaeger shots. Yeah. Cause... Well, because you're, it's a bar experience uh, uh, now. You, uh. you get to do all that kind of stuff. And then you get to, I would say about 25 is usually when you hit And then them. you start to realize that nobody really likes Jaeger. I like Jaeger, actually. I'm Irish. I drink anything. Well, I am too. I don't drink that, though. Well, maybe, no, I just, maybe I just had one too I, many times. I think it it comes more down to the part where uh, I always get the kids. They're a little bit... Because I'm pretty... I'm not the oldest person in the group when I go out for my cigarette smokes at work or whatnot, but I'm like the older one of the younger kids or whatnot. But it's it comes down to the point where they're talking about how they drink, and I just look at them going like, you guys do not know how to drink. Yeah. Like It's like I have to go out to them with a bar and teach them how to drink. Because like I would go out and people would be like, I would have like you know four car- Irish car bombs, you know, drinking Guinness oh, all night. Yeah, yeah, those are good. And then I feel great. And it's like uh, people are like hung over. They're already slouched at the table. They're already sloshed. I'm all like, I just finally got my buzz. Yeah. So I'm just like, oh, okay, let's keep going. You're going with clankers. Clankers. Or Clancy Terry. No, I, I didn't know him. Oh, he was he was fantastic to go out with. Flamingly gay. No, but, I know. But it was it would crack me up because he was like. Especially when he was hitting on my roommate at the time. Remember Sean? Tattoo yeah, yeah, you were talking about that, yeah. Oh, yeah, Clancy thought it was hot stuff. Mm-hmm. Sean was, like, notoriously homophobic. Well, technically, you know what they say about those people. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so it was just funny because Clancy was, like, hitting on it mercilessly. And then at one point, Clancy just put his head down and went to sleep at the table. <laughs> 
It was great. Uh, he was like all peaceful about it, though. You know how most people when they pass out of the bar, they're like violent and like yeah. There's like no him. He's just like <sighs> <laughs> like that was it. I was like whoa. It's like the Charmin commercials when they yeah. used to have that. Yeah, oh, was that the, with the like angels, Charmin. with the baby like angel angels. Soft. Angel, angel soft. soft, yeah, the little angel baby that goes to yeah, sleep that, on the. It's like that. Yeah, it was like that. It's so weird. Like, are, okay, do you know certain people like now, like back in the day, you drink with them because you were friends, but now you would go, N- I would never drink with these people now because you know how bad of a drunk they get and just how that you know how your evening oh, will go. Yeah. Yes. Like you know, there's certain people like, oh, I'm ha- I'm throwing a party, dude. We're going to the bars tonight or something like that. It's like we're just having a little like relaxing bar. It's like I'm inviting this person, this person, but I'm not inviting that person. Yeah. Because they're great at the beginning of the evening, the but they don't know how to stop. Deteriorates. And then yeah, then it gets really bad. Mm-hmm. And that's a good way to lose friends, people. I hate. Oh god, I really hated when I had to do that. My ex fiance was like that. Remember- oh, you remember Ra? Remember that? <laughs> <laughs> do i god that was horrible that was so pat terrible. pat decides he wants to take us out um uh i think it was like christmas it was like a christmas present he's like oh dude i'll just pay for your drinks or whatnot so we're like yeah. okay cool so we're drinking some of that and then she gets to the point where she's she's sloshed she's just gone and i kept telling her i'm like get up and go to the bathroom now and this is what i love no one ever listens to me yeah because she was like no i'm not gonna make it i'm like okay i think it's gonna be easier for them to clean it up on your way to the bathroom than it is what she did and she ended up just throwing up on the um, entire the table. table and i'm just like Ugh. oh so terrible <laughs> i was like so embarrassed and then i had a i had to carry her out we got her to the car and everything and then she doesn't remember any of it, it was like terrible. at that time and there's so many times that i've done and what i love oh. though is like people think it's funny people think it's great but honestly i was embarrassed oh, heck yeah, i was like terrible. oh my god like i told people i'm like i will never like look you want to drink and have a good time and stuff like that but if you get to a certain point start listening to me like, I've yeah. been there. I've done this stuff before. It's like, I know what I'm doing. So, yeah. And then she's done that. She did that to me a couple of times. Yeah, we like, more than once. Well, not vomiting on the table, oh, but she okay. embarrassed me, like, many times. Oh. Well, she drew, like, something on that table that one time. We were out at, uh, I forget what place. She drew on the table? She drew on the table, and then everyone was trying to leave, and the woman grabs me, like, the, the waiter, like, you know, waitress. Put, and she's like... She's like, you're going to have to clean this up. I'm like, great. So I had to clean up that like wow. at their place. Like the, I was like, just give me the stuff and clean up. But just like she did that to me multiple times. And then it was weird because then she's like, I want to go out and drink. And then um, make wine with people. And I go, okay. And I go, I go, are you going to spend the night? She goes, no, I'm probably not going to spend the night. But if I do have a, too much to drink, can you come and pick me up? And I go, that's fine. I have no problem doing that. Just call me at a reasonable time. I ended up having to text her and go, are you coming home tonight or you're staying there kind yeah. of thing? And then she's like, oh, no, I'm coming home. And it was like 3 o'clock in the morning. Wow. So I had to drive all the way over, get her, and then the next day I had to bring her back to get her car. But I had to wait till she was not hung over in the morning. And yeah. I'm just like – and I thought I was a horrible human being. You know, I really I really thought I was the bad guy in a lot of my yeah. like past relationships here. But it turns out, no, I'm, I'm great drinking. <laughs> that – that raw thing that oh, was just like so oh. haggard i was just so like oh this was this is lovely i le- i left the waitress no i know you you i remember because i was i was helping her out to the car and you came back he's like yeah don't worry about it. i got it covered and he's like don't worry give her a nice tip Huge i'm like tip. thank you because yeah that was just like that was like so embarrassing yeah i think oh. i tipped the waitress like a hundred bucks or something like okay that. yeah i felt like really <laughs> bad because i was just <laughs> yeah, like I, was uh, like, I mean granted i mean it's a great ploy to get out of paying a bill well, sometimes yeah i mean granted no you, you right off the bat you're like no, no no don't worry about this i got this i'm you know i'm paying for everything that night and everything like that but i mean like if you really were like that big of a you know a uh, jerk or whatnot you could be all like i'm just gonna get her really drunk then she'll throw up be like i gotta take her out to the car man i'll be i gotta take you know and yeah then like, nice. uh, and then you kind of leave them high and dry. i mean it's a it's a really bad move to do yeah. don't take my advice people i'm not very good yeah but anyways, uh, I think that I think that wraps up the drinkingness of I want to say. Do you want to? You want to? I figure. Uh, I figure. I figure we're gonna. I want to spend a little bit of more time and see what we can do with some scan BC. Heck yeah! So of course, Patrick and I. Uh, Patrick was excited about scan BC. Uh, I didn't know if he was gonna like it Man, or not I, when I first. I lived for Canadian crime when I did it. So uh, so here we go. Scan BC. I'm um, coming at you. Of course, you want to follow Scan BC. It's just at Scan and then BC on the Twitters or whatnot. And uh, yeah, they got some hilarious stuff. Now, don't get me wrong; not all of them are hilarious. There are some that are just like "child died today." So, but I don't want to read those ones off or anything. That's funny one. 
just the just the humorous one. You just get to see how how humorous can, Canada can be. So, <clears throat> Patrick, scan BC. Dun 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 dun. dun. Canada. <laughs> oh, hey, we're sorry about that, eh? Uh, Vancouver police are responding to 600 Industrial Avenue for a caller reporting an unknown male is on his property using his barbecue. <laughs> <laughs> really? Wait, wait, wait. So some dude walked onto somebody else's property and was, like, <laughs> cooking? <laughs> just started cooking. Having a cookout? Yeah. Oh, hey there, eh? Oh, I'm just cooking up some, you know, burgers, eh? And some That's hot dogs, great. eh? Got some That's steaks great. going, eh? It's going to be good, eh? Um, officer, I don't like what this guy's doing, eh? He's just using my barbecue, eh? That's fantastic. Oh, jeez. Uh, I... Okay, like, honestly, has that ever, would ever happen in America? Like, even in, like, uh, I'm thinking, like, even in, like, uh, towns where they have, like, the wooden fences and, like, neighbors are neighbors. Kind of like like a Simpsons setup, you yeah, know? Yeah, like, like the Midwest. Like Midwest, the Midwest. A lot of Midwest is like, like that. You think so, where people just we come... Like, you know, you don't, there's, there are no... Like, like walls? Like, Arizona, we have walls. And stuff. Yeah, and, like, you know, fen- like, from, and there's, like, walls, fences. Yeah. But, you know, like... I'm from, like, the Midwest. Man, we didn't have freaking anything. You just, like, wander through people's All, backyards? Yeah, we used to just walk through everybody's backyards, because there's no... You know, it, it, if you want... If you had, like, a dog or something, you put up a fence. Most people don't have fences. So, yeah, so... And so I, I can see that. You're you can see like, that? hey, man, I'm hungry. Oh, there's, look, a grill. I, I just happen to have, like, these hamburgers in my pocket. <laughs> <laughs> so... Oh yeah, so you know, I was just walking down the street, eh, and then uh, I just, uh, I just real, I remember I have these hamburgers in my pocket, you know, eh? Yeah. And I was like, I can't get home quick enough to put these in the fridge, eh? So, uh, oh, lo and behold, yeah. there's a grill. Go cook up some burgers, eh? Yeah. Uh, Canada, you, you, your crimes That's are great. adorable. They're moose burgers. Oh yeah, yeah, moose, moose burgers. Okay, <clears throat> scan BC. RCMP are responding to the Walmart at. 12 4 51 88 yeah, Avenue. RCMP. For a report. That's the, that's the Mounties. Yeah. The oh, Mounties. The, they had to get the Mounties involved in this. Heck is how they, yeah. So, All right, Mounties. For a report of two couples fighting in the home decor department. Yes. Yes. There's so much yes in that. Mounties. Oh. Okay, look. Couples I fighting do. in home decor. In Walmart. In Walmart. <laughs> okay, look. I understand. The you want that pillow? Place. That's great, okay? But he found it first, eh? You know? Just let him have it, eh? I'm sure they'll come back in stock, eh? You don't have to worry. Whoa, whoa. A lot of problems. And of course, it had to be a Walmart. I didn't even think they had Walmarts. I didn't think Walmart was international. Oh, heck yeah, they are. They Wall- are? Wally World, yeah. Wally World? Wally World. Is that what you call it? That's, that's what it's called, Wally World. Wally World. But isn't Wally World from... Uh, okay, so, no, no, okay. So White Trashville, freaking... Uh, uh, Jackson, Jacksonville, North Carolina. Okay. Gro- one of the grossest places I've ever been in my life. And if you're from Jacksonville, I don't even feel bad. Your town is disgusting. Yeah, they probably know. Yeah. It was so that's how you got to tell the cab drivers. Like if you want to go to Walmart or mm-hmm. something, you go, oh, take me down to the. Because I, I tried saying Walmart once. Uh-huh. I forget what I even needed. Socks or some shit. Like yeah, that. yeah. I'm like oh, Walmart, and they're like, Oh, Wally World. Like Wally World. They're like, No, this is not. I'm like no vacation. Walmart, man. Walmart. And they're like, Oh, it's Wally World. I'm like, oh, okay, so whatever. And <laughs> ah, oh, Jacksonville. That's the same place where we were at the freaking Sonic or whatever out there and. I didn't hear this story. So. Oh, some nasty giant toothless woman pulls up in some haggard cab, and then mm-hmm. sees us. We're at the freaking Sonic, and well, hey, you boys got a cigarettes? <laughs> We're like, uh, <laughs> yeah. She was gross. Was that man. a was that a no? <laughs> Well, I you know I I didn't at the time. I was smoking a pipe at the time, uh-huh. so I had like pipe tobacco. But I'm like, no, said, no. How about some beers? <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait, taxi driver. No, it's just some toothless woman. Was she driving? She was driving, she and was she like, wanted beers. She was like 500 pounds too. The disgusting part is one of my buddies like just hopped in the truck with her and was like, oh, let's go get some beers, baby. And I was like, you're gross. Uh, was that Chunk? No. No. It was this guy. His name was Fawn. 
I guess she was very fond of him. Yeah, fine. The cr- creepy part was like, dude looked like James Dean. Not even kidding. Really? Look, spitting image of James Dean. This guy fought. Like, you know, he could have had, like, you know, any chick he any wanted. Any chick he wanted. He went for the Haggards every time without fail. Really? He'd bring back, like, these nasty, like, did he Did he know he was things. good looking? Oh, yeah, he knew. Oh. He knew. He knew. Or maybe he's, he knows like, the oh, trick. He's, yeah. He's... I will say this. I will say this. This is a little key thing, people. I know you all like, I want to date a supermodel. I want to date a good looking chick or something like that. But look, if you're just looking for a night of fun or whatnot, the fat chicks and the hacker chicks, they will do things to you that the the that the that the models will never do to you. Well, that's yes, that's that. Yeah, good old fawn. So, yeah, wow, spit, I did not know that. Spitting image of James Dean. Oh, that man, guy. that's awesome. Yeah, he was funny. He was my roommate. Did he have low self esteem or something? Carolina. Yeah, There we go. All right. Scam PC. Yes. Tell it to me again, straight. Tell again. Tell it to me straight, Doc. I'll tell it to you straight, Doc. Okay. Another Mountie. The yes! RC, the RCMP Heck are responding yeah. to 45th They're like Avenue. They're the Special Forces of Canada. I don't wait. know if that's true. Oh, wait. No. I okay. I almost, I almost I'm skipped. deciding it's true. I almost skipped one. Okay. Vancouver Police okay. are responding to East 5th Avenue and Commercial Drive after reports... A male threw a cup of urine on a vehicle. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Oh, yeah. Oh, I'll show you oh, it. Oh, wow. Me your, give me your cup, eh? Wow. <laughs> That's great. Uh, Canada. Uh, All right, but here we go. Here's the Mountie one. Here's the Mountie one. Yes. I, gave, I gave everyone a little tease, and now Mountie, here it comes. Mounties. Mountie. All right. So, okay, so... The RCMP are responding to 45th Avenue and 152 Street for reports of a female jumping on a car and smashing all its windows. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's probably the same car that they guy through the urine. urine on yeah, it's the same one. That guy's like, oh, man, my day's going bad, eh? Yeah. I'm just driving along here, eh? Someone threw his cup of urine in my car, <laughs> eh? Hey, take it to the, you know, the wash, right, eh? You know, the car wash to get it fixed, eh, right? Yeah. You know what happened? Some woman just jumps on my <laughs> car and breaks all the windows, eh? I'm actually kind of glad that it happened after the urine because then I would have just had piss all in my car, eh? All right, here we go. Vancouver uh, Police. Scan PC. Scan PC. Scan PC. <laughs> Vancouver Police are reporting to the PNE 3300. That's uh, Penis East. East Hastings Street for reports of two... East Hasty Penis. This is great. Okay. Yeah. Reports of two carnies <laughs> fighting. <laughs> carnies. <laughs> oh, carnies fighting. <laughs> Oh, that's great. Oh, that's actually that ties oh. in to the gypsies. Uh, yeah, there you go. There we go. Full circle, baby. Full circle. Now, Full I'm circle. just kind of curious. Now, what kind of carnies do you think we're finding? Do you think it was midgets, a bearded lady, maybe the strong man, some clowns? I think it was uh says so we're going for kind of like clue here. All right, mm-hmm. I'm going to say it was the strong man with the uh bearded lady in the boudoir. <laughs> the boudoir. <laughs> with the bottle of wild turkey. Oh, nice, nice, nice. Okay. Van- yeah. Scan BC. Scan BC. Scan BC. Van- Vancouver crews are on the scene at the Student Union Building at UBC after a male was hit in the face with a badminton racket. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Oh, you hit that shuttlecock way too hard, eh? I'm going to. Hey, what are you doing, eh? He put the bad in badminton. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, <clears throat> oh, Canadian. There we go. Vancouver Police Scan PC <laughs> are reporting to East 16th Avenue and Main Street for reports a house was egged and the suspect ran away. <laughs> <laughs> that that actually made the police blotter. That's, yes. Wow. He's just throwing away good oh, eggs, eh? Man. I'll tell you what. This Canadian right here, he's a bad egg. All right. You know, he's just trucking eggs all over the place, just trying to TP houses here, eh? Oh, boy. 
Scan PC. <laughs> I like saying it like that. Scan PC. Father, spoon of scan PC. That's how we should do it. Man, they got to get Rosdauer in these things. Yeah. Victoria Police are heading to the area of Fort Street and Cook Street for reports of a male walking around in a hospital gown acting like a zombie. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Sounds like he was a recent escapee from the loony bin. <laughs> Brains <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> this, yeah, this one. Okay. Scan PC. <laughs> Delta crews are re- responding to a ladder leisure suit center for an eight, eight year old boy that accidentally hit his nose with his knee. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's great. So he hit his nose with a, with a leisure suit. <laughs> yeah. I'm just leisure like- suit. Like, are those even? Do people wear leisure suits anymore? I mean, no, I think like, I think this is like a place called. It's like the Ladder Leisure Suit Center. Uh, ladder Leisure Suit Center. Oh, yeah. Okay, so it's. Like, but that'd be even better. Now I kind of want him to be wearing a leisure suit, and he hit himself suits. in the. Face. Yeah, like lounge singers, man. I, oh wait, I was just trying to, you know, be a lounge singer. Yeah, yeah. He's, he's singing some Wayne Newton. Hits himself <laughs> in the face with his. Don't you knee. want somebody to love? Hey, everybody, hey, on yeah. my knee. Or my nose. Okay. Maybe he hurt his knee with his nose. Oh, here we go. Here's a here's another Mountie one. Scan PC. RCMP responding to yes. 74th Avenue and 148th Street for reports of two people are destroying their house as they were recently evicted. All right. <laughs> oh, hey, if I can't live here, hey, no one can, eh? All right. The Mounties. Oh, the Mounties. Oh, again with the... Oh, that sounds good. The Mounties again are called in. Heck scan, yeah. Scan PC. <laughs> okay, the RCMP are responding to 96th Avenue for the reports of a 15-year-old man high on drugs stole his sister's car. Wow. <laughs> I'm just going to the McDonald's, eh? Wow. Wow, there's a lot of Mountie ones here. Yeah. Okay. That, that last one reminded me of... It's not Canadian, but... Some other story. I forget where it took place. Oh, yeah, no. Let's dive in before you... Oh, gosh. What was it? It's like some kid in uh, well, early 20s, probably. Mm-hmm. High on something. I don't remember what. But basically, this kid's strung out of his brain on drugs. Uh, got into some, like, raging accident. But then, like, he was all high. And so, like, he hijacked the ambulance that actually <laughs> came to pick him up. <laughs> So, like, what? he carjacked the freaking ambulance. Okay. Rages off with that. And so, finally, like, the cops stopped him. Let's get him out of there. And he spent the rest of the time. They take, get him back to the station. So, this kid's strung out of his brain back at the police station. And he starts masturbating and kicking the wall in the police station. <laughs> That's multitasking. Yeah. That Actually, like, honest geez. question. Honest question here. Have you ever been able to do that and kick a wall? You know, I've never tried. Never tried? Never tried. I never thought even to do other activities while doing that. While in a police station. Yeah, that's At that's the like same time. after stealing an ambulance that was sent to pick your high ass. He up. he probably thought that like, hey, you know what? Go big or go home, right? Yeah, apparently. Apparently. Yeah. Ooh. <clears throat> wow. Yeah, it makes you really it's like what's going through your brain. Okay, you just got arrested. What was the so... honor? Do you not know? I don't remember. I'm. I'm just I think gonna, it was like, uh, what's that crap called? What? Spice. Oh, is it, oh the oh, that would expand. I think it was that. That's the stuff that was turning people into, or the bath salts. That thing. No. Oh no. The f- f- flocka. 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 I think it was freaking flocka? flocka. It was like uh, the, the article I read. I think it was flocka. So it's like bath salts on steroids. Oh gee. Oh. So yeah, because the people on bath like, like they've been yeah. known to like it like almost turns them into like zombies half the time. Yeah, right no, this uh, I think it's Flocka. Wow, Flocka. Well, I guess you've been flocking yeah, a lot there. Yeah. Flocka, Flocka, go. Flocka, 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 Park South, yo. Park South. Jeez, God. <laughs> oh, that kid. Blocka, uh, his name was Randall too, I think. Yeah. Uh, all right. Scan PC. Scan PC. RCMP are responding to 96 and Scott. After reports of two males rob the Shell gas station, but then their car broke down. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you think they would have gotten gas? Yeah. Okay, here's the deal. They eh? leave the car running, eh? Criminaling right. Yeah. 
<laughs> You're doing it right. You're doing it right, guys. Okay. <clears throat> Scan me. <see. laughs> Crews are responding to 6100 Patterson Avenue for the reports of a TV on fire in a condo. Yeah. <laughs> Right. How does that even happen? They were watching Matlock. <laughs> okay, explain. He's so hot. Oh, uh, okay. This will be our. <clears throat> this is our last scan PC. Scan PC. Scan PC. Okay, dun, Ben. Dun. Dun. I feel like we should have that uh, dun dun from uh, Law and Order. Oh yeah. What we do <laughs> scan PC. Yeah. Vancouver police are responding to 100 East Hastings Street for reports that a male was randomly punching people. Was pepper sprayed? Wait, wait! <laughs> punching people with pepper? No, 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 he was. I guess. Oh, he was. Yeah, I guess he was just sprayed. randomly oh, punching okay. people, and, and then was finally maced sub- him. yeah, maced him. Sweet. <laughs> all right. But how do you even do that? Like just walk into a crowd of people and just all like, "Sorry, eh? sorry." <laughs> you mean you don't do that? No, I, I've never done that. Oh, that's like. That's I, a- I will do this one last one last thing because we are on the. Okay, so they haven't updated anything new. Uh, from Scan BC. So that's 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 your taste of Canadian news this week, Scan people. BC. Scan BC. Uh, Canada. Freaking love Canada. Oh, Canada. A home and native land. No, cooking on somebody else's barbecue. Because well, then throwing a cup of urine. Had a car, then we got into a fight again at the Walmart Domestics. Then a kid in a leisure <laughs> suit hurt yes. his nose with his knees with again. His knee. <clears throat> Heck yeah. Ah, so that wraps up our Scan BC, and I think that's going to wrap up the show this week. I'm actually enjoying Scan BC tastes every week now. Um, <clears throat> now, of course, next weekend is a three day weekend before we wrap up the show. And Patrick, you're excited because a movie comes out next week. Heck yeah, Walk in the Woods, man. Which is a movie that Patrick, or a book Patrick's been talking about that's being made into a movie. Yeah. Um, so I think Patrick and I are going to try to go see that this weekend, and then we'll next talk week. about it on the show. I think would be a good idea. So. But of course, we'll have more Scan BC because I can't get enough of that news. That's like the highlight of my day. I will be honest. I'm sitting at work sometimes, and I'm like, uh, and then I'm like, oh yeah, that's right. And I go onto Twitter, and I just start going through Scan BC and just favoriting yeah. the ones to read off on the show. And can I just love Canada? Canada's just fun. We gotta. I would say this: if we were really that like big of a show, which I, we're not. Which right. we're not. I know we're not. Um, <clears throat> I mean, th- which is funny because I'm like, we get more listens than we do have likes on the Facebook page. By the way, give us a like on the Facebook page, or also follow us on the Twitter. Or give us a dislike. Yeah, dislike. That's fine too. Um, my parents have been giving me a bunch of those for the rest of my week. But of course, if you want to follow us on the Twitter, at awt podcast is on our Twitter, and don't forget. Uh, all the other good, great stuff and things like that. But, uh, yeah, I think that's going to wrap up this episode. Patrick, do you have anything you want to add or what you're going to be up to for the next episode? Yes. Scan BC. Oh, he's throwing a cup of urine, eh? <laughs> Well, look, officer, he was just here in my backyard. I don't know the gentleman. He was just making his own, uh, his barbecue and on my grill here. Oh, it's not a good day in uh, Vancouver when a kid just hits his face with his own knee. Oh, it's a rough day. We're going to have to call the Mountainies in on this one, eh? That guy threw a cup of urine. Uh, that was a good. So we're gonna have to actually. I'm gonna have to find that music. We're gonna have to play that yeah. to do uh, our scan beat. Actually, yeah. I should probably record. And you like gotta a find sound. like the gavel sound too. The yeah, the. <laughs> so I have to. I'll yeah. go looking for that. We're gonna spice up the show. We're gonna yeah. spice up the show. Yeah. But anyways, you have anything that you might be having coming up this week or not coming up this uh, week? Uh, <clears throat> nothing. No, everything's coming up Millhouse. Everything's coming up Millhouse. Well. Patrick and I are going to drop it like it's hot with the greatest line from any Canadian film known to man, The Final Sacrifice, with uh, your father spoke a podcast. Why don't you come to eat your food? Rostauer. Rostauer. 
Ra's Tower saves us and saves all the world. Ooh. He comes to save the day in a broken down truck with a stinky denim jacket on his back. He couldn't save this movie, which really sucked, but at least we didn't have to watch him play hacky sack. <laughs> saves us and saves all the world this is in a ah. <laughs> It was like a snake. It cursing. was a weird snake. <laughs> and I, you know what? I'm not even going to edit this. <laughs> I'm not even going to edit this. I'm just going to say this has been another fine production of the 4i Radio Network. For more great shows, check out www.4iradio.com. Rosdauer. Your father spoke of Rosdauer. Your father spoke of your father. <laughs> uh, we have to do that still. We have to still do a, uh, a commentary on the final sacrifice. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> And the room. Uh, oh, yes, and the room. <laughs> the room. Oh, hi, uh, Denny. Oh, hi, Denny. I like to watch. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You're not my fucking mother. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that movie's terrible. Uh.